my grandmother. Oh my gosh, she made it to 95 years old and was a total firecracker her whole life. May we do all as well as she did. Um, 93 years old, she was still living in our family homestead up by Ottawa. Uh, she'd been on her own for quite some time at that point. And she loved it. She gardened, she, you know, was in the house that she'd been married in. It just, you know, this was, this was her life and she was very happy with it. And at 93 years old, you can only imagine our surprise when my mom gets a phone call and it's Gran. And Gran says, oh hi honey, I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm moving into the nursing home on Friday. And this is usually done in cons consultation, of course, with the family. And mom was like, are you okay? Has something happened? Oh no honey, I'm just, I'm fine. I've just decided I'm done with vacuuming. <laughs> As I said, firecracker. And, and she was, she had decided, oh yeah, sure. So anyways, the last two years of her life, she spent quite literally about a block and a half up the street. There was a little, little retirement village there. And uh, she was the life of the place. And one of the difficult things with Ben and I being on the road so much, this is our 10th year and we're usually out for eight months out of every year, is that, you know, the the big holidays we're often not around for. Um, our parents are wonderful and throw a second Thanksgiving whenever we're able to make it and that kind of thing, but it's hard sometimes. And uh, Grant's 95th birthday party was being planned, and I was not going to miss that because you only turn 95 once. And uh, we were in San Francisco or somewhere, or Phoenix I guess, and I called Grant uh, and I said, well I'm coming back next week for your party, what can I bring you? Because at 95 what do you need, right? And there's that weird, there's that weird sort of secretive sound when you put your hand over the telephone receiver. And over the crackling telephone, I hear Grand say, Honey, they won't let me have vodka in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Grand, I've got to go. <laughs> big boxes with bows and everything. I, with a wink to the nurses, brought in this little tiny Mickey of vodka. Grant and I snuck off into the broom closet and we had a little tipple together. <laughs> <laughs> we just laughed and laughed. It was great. So, as I said, maybe we all do this so well. And um, my Gran was a tremendous gardener. The, the homestead always had this incredible, beautiful array of flowers. And it still does. It's very different now that my mom and I are taking care of it. But as with everything in life, it's not, it doesn't benefit from you overthinking it. Sometimes you just gotta plant the seeds and see what comes up. So this one's for Grant, it's called Never Quite Eaten. Just arrived. Another 
Lord, 